Hi, kid, and welcome to this very special kid time story time. Oh, 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 hey, Tug the Dinosaur. Oh, wait a minute. This, oh, 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 I'm pretty sure this looks familiar. Oh, how, how so? Well, I, I've seen that boy before. I have seen him, Miguel and the Grand Harmony. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Have I seen his face before? Oh! <gasps> I knew it! This is a book about Miguel from Coco, the movie. Oh, that's, that's how I knew him. Oh, very good. Very good, Doug. Oh, I just love this movie so much. And it, this book is about the movie. Well, it's um not about the movie, but it's about Miguel and his passion for music. Oh, oh, I can't wait to see this one because I love everything Disney-like, you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Oh, 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 Mickey Mouse? Is that really you? Oh, hi, Doug the Dinosaur. Oh, he knows my name. Oh, of course I know your name. I love Doug the Dinosaur. Oh, I'm kind of speechless right now. Mickey, yeah? Would you like to watch the story time with me? It would mean a lot to me. Oh, hot dog. What I am? Celebrity is going to sit next to me during story time. That's right. It's kind of a big deal. Miguel and the Grand Harmony. This is a very dramatic, beautiful, musical book. I hope you're ready for it. First comes the sound. A string plucked or a note blown or a beat wrapped. See right there? You see right there? That little angelic sort of thing? That is the grand harmony. That tiny little thing. And suddenly, I am. Where there is music, there is color. And where there is color, why look, there is life. Look at that. That single strum, a single note, one single key from the grand harmony right there and color and life i roam this vibrant city determined to keep the gray at bay la musica i hear their hearts beckon we need you to create a grand harmony ah i need them too that's right because the grand harmony needs people it doesn't exist all by itself it's more of something in the heart here I am, tucked inside the buzz of wedding bells, ding, 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 ding. The band shifting into a ballad and every hand linked around the glowing bride and groom. Here I am, at a packed Pueblo Quinceañera, swaying along with a staticky song. As a fresh-faced girl lifts a tiara, ding, on her head. Here I am huddled over an open cemetery plot, breathing life into the quiet reflections of loved ones and the weeping beauty of a single violin. You see the music, the grand harmony accompanies us during our happy times when we celebrate and dance and it accompanies us during the sad times when we cry and mourn. But it's always there, ping, in our souls and in our lives, like a soundtrack of our lives. Today, I fall upon a trio of musicos tuning their instruments. They laugh from their bellies, ha ha ha, and wave to passerbys, hola. They shoo away, shh, shh, a stray dog, probably because he was chewing on his pant leg. A fourth musico steps to a trash bin holding a busted guitar. She was good to me, he says. Until you sat on her, his friend replies. More laughter, ha 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 ha, as a man, doing tosses the ruined instrument and returns to his crate. He thumbs the nylon strings of a new guitar, and I ride the rhythms across the plaza. And there's our little grand music inspiration following the musicos 
through the colorful plaza. Isn't that a beautiful village? By sundown, when the sky starting to come down low, the alleyways are packed with people, and I leap from song to song. On warm nights like this, I am the city, and the city is me. But just as my surge of sound is lifting towards the twilight, what happens? What happens? <gasps> An old woman barges out of a shoe shop. Stop that music! She shouts. You'll upset Mama Coco. Oh, here we are. There's Mama Coco, and there's a cranky grandma who's anti-music. A startled guitar player fumbles for his favorite hat. Why? A trumpeter, hurrying to put away his instrument, knocks over a box of mismatched nails. Ay, oi, oh, 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 eee, she scares me. She scares me too. <laughs> oh no. And Mama Coco, just quiet and watching everything. She doesn't look upset. Before I'm sucked back into nothingness, I notice a boy. Bling. There's, there's our grand harmony right there. Noticing, bring a boy, not just any boy. This is Miguel. He holds a broom in one hand, dustpan in the other. And while everyone in the shop is busy waving away los musicos, vaya, vayanse, dale, dale. The boy's eyes are glued to their guitars. You know why? Because there's music in his heart. He turns to look for me, but I'm already lost into a colorless void. Told you this was a very poetic book. The following morning, I rise with the crowing roosters and race from place to place. There's a dog. But all day my thoughts keep returning to the boy. There's the gran musica, the grand harmony. I abandon a flong of songbirds to follow the thudding paws of a trotting dog. Halfway down the alley, I pause to peer inside the window. See, there's the grand harmony with the dog, followed him there. The window of a shoe shop. Lots of sewing going on in there. But the boy isn't there. I sigh and watch his family busily making shoes. There's a kind of harmony about their rhythmic work. They are doing what they love. I'm about to retreat into the whistling wind when I hear a faint rustling sound coming from above. I climb the subtle sounds like a rope up to the roof where I discover a secret attic. Inside, the boy is moving around the antenna of a tiny TV. I redirect his radio waves so that an old musical performance comes in clearly. The boy stares, transfixed. You know what that word means, transfixed? When you're transfixed, you cannot take your eyes off of something. Then he pops a tape into an old VCR and hits record. Because you used to be able to tape with a VCR. Well, you still can if you happen to have one, but it's considered old technology now. There's the dog, it's climbed up too with the grand harmony that probably came in through the same door and is watching everything, rearranging musical performances to enter the TV. Look at that! He picks up his broom and holds it like a guitar, moves his fingers around, invisible frets. When the song ends, the crowd begins to cheer. The boy rewinds back to the music. Miguel! A man calls out from down below. Ya vente a comer! Oh, time for dinner. Time to come eat. The boy stops the tape and covers the TV. Gotta hide it and hurries out of the attic for dinner. There he is. There's everybody at the table waiting for him to start eating. I bet he's wondering if they heard anything, but I don't think they're any the wiser. The following day, I trail him into the plaza. Let's see, where is our little musical muse? Where, somewhere around here. Ah, 
tiny, tiny, tiny little specks of little starlight. And that's where the music is. The following day, I trail him into the plaza where a band of street musicians is performing. Dante, vamos, he calls to his dog, and the two of them wiggle their way to the front. So Dante is the dog. This close to the music, the boy's face comes alive. He belongs to the sound. He just wants to dive in there because, you know why, don't you? Because his soul, his heart is musical. So the music is calling to him and following him everywhere he goes. But just as I'm about to whisper my name into his ear, his abuelita appears. She <laughs> shoes away the stray and pulls the boy Bente, back through the crowd by his elbow. Uh-oh. Musicians, <laughs> Miguel, <laughs> abuelita, <laughs> mijo. Stay away from the mariachis, she tells him. I know, but do you want to upset Mama Coco? No. Oh, he shakes his head and follows her back to their shop. Big teardrop. Little teardrops everywhere. Oh, so hard. Sometimes the whole world can seem like a misplayed note. Sometimes colors fade and smear. See, because sometimes when you don't follow or aren't allowed to follow the music that's in your heart and do what your heart is telling you, that's what the world can look like and feel like. Blue. I sulk inside a nearby cafe where an old man boing, 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 plucks my sadness on a tire requinto, which is a kind of guitar. There's the grand harmony. He's hanging around this fella. I remember another boy. Oh, do you, Grand Harmony? What do you remember? Another boy from long ago. He used to sit alone and write songs long into the night. And when he became a man, he sang lullabies to his baby girl. I'll never forget the bright colors emanating from their eyes. That is why I'm here. I picture the boy from the shoe shop again. Ah, the Grand Harmony. He is transfixed. Can't take his eyes off of Miguel, can he? La musica exists in the heart of humans. If I can't lead this child to his passion, then what is my purpose? Ah, everyone is having a crisis of consciousness right now, of following their soul's mission. I'm pulled out of my thoughts by <laughs> the stray dog, Dante, who's <laughs> sniffing around the floor by my feet. Hmm. Dante, what are you up to? That's... When it occurs to me, I don't have to do this alone. What do you have in mind, musical little fairy thing? I bend to whisper a new plan into Dante's ear. Oh, the music can speak dog. I wonder what kind of plan. The next morning is crisp and cloudless and smells of destiny. Bum, bum, bada, bum, bum, bada, bum, bum, bada, bum, bum. As soon as Dante senses my presence, he tears the broom out of the boy's hand and takes off. <laughs> There he goes, chasing after him, sweating. He races through the alleys, into the plaza, and up to the trash bin where he... And... And... At the side. Dante! The boy shouts. Out of breath. What's wrong? And then... He sees it. Do you see what he sees? Do you see what I see? Of course you can see it. It's the broken guitar that the musico, musician musico, had thrown away because it was broken. But it's perfect for a kid who only has a broom for a guitar. During his shift at the shoe shop that night, I wrap my arms around a pair of cackling cotorras. Cotorras are parrots. <laughs> until the boy comes out to investigate. Ah, see, the little musical harmony thing squeezed them and poked them and tickled them so they would make noise so he would come out to see what was going on. The birds, they scurry, but not before our boy discovers what 
the scattered nails. It's all coming together. Do you remember before when Abuelita came out and scared those, those musicians and then the trumpeter dropped his trumpet and then scattered these nails all over the floor? Now he discovers the scattered nails. Do you see where we're going with this? He slips them into his pocket, sensing he is not alone. Oh, there's, there's Mama Coco right there. Now. We're back in the attic. Over the next several days, I track a light hammering back up to the attic. There's our little magical fairy, harmonic little fairy music guy. And the boy is up there repairing the guitar. When he finally gets it fixed, he flips on the video and maneuvers his fingers like the famous singer. So he's working the guitar, but see the strings are off because he had to take them off to, to fix the guitar. So he can't really play the guitar, but at least it's fixed, but we need strings. That weekend, the boy sneaks his stringless guitar past the shoe shop, very quietly because you know somebody's always watching, and he heads for the plaza. He sits on a nice empty bench beside Dante and dreams of performing for a crowd. Of course, he's not alone, right? Not only does he have Dante, but he has our musical grand harmony right here. It takes all my strength to summon a great gust of wind. Why, you're asking? It whips a musico's hat right off of his head. The man gives chase. All through the crowded plaza they go, woo, 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 until he crashes into the boy. Uh-huh. El musico studies the familiar guitar. Oh, does he recognize it? He doesn't want it back, does he? He studies the boy, then he reaches into his bag and hands over his last set of strings. Play what's in your heart, he says. The boy nods and looks down at the strings. All he can see is his family. Ha! Huh. Well, before going to bed that night, he strings his repaired guitar. Oh, that was the final step and tunes it and positions his fingers along the fretboard. The frets are those, the, these, this right here, that part, the long part of the guitar, and, the, and those stripes across it you see, that's a fret. And every time you play below one, it's a new note, and then a new note, and then a new note, and a new note. That's how you play different chords. And he tunes it and positions his fingers along the fretboard. He glances down at Dante, <laughs> looks up at his homemade ofrenda, his heart dum, dum, thumping inside his chest. <laughs> He takes a deep breath and strums his fingers gently across the nylon strings. Ah, nylon strings are the best for acoustic guitar. They sound the most beautiful. The boy doesn't know that in the ring of this very first chord, he has become a part of the grand harmony. But here it is in the swirling skies above the attic. Look at the colors bursting to life. The feeling in his face as he becomes one with the guitar and can express what's in his soul through his fingers and the music that comes out into the world. Look at the little musical muse, the grand harmony whispering in his ear, guiding him. And here it is. In the wind, whistling past the windows of the shoe shop. Rivera Zapateros, Rivera Shoemakers, since 1917. There's the Grand Harmony sitting on Coco's wheelchair. Look at that. And there it is in the warm expression. On his mama Coco's face. And see, the grand harmony has come and embraced her and filled her cheeks with warmth. And there's a smile on her face. And she looks peaceful, doesn't she? Like the music eases her soul. And that is Miguel and the grand harmony. I just did not read the very last page. Oh, oh why is that? Because Disney wants to save a little something special for you when you check out the book at the library so you can see the very last page. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it is cool. That way you have a little something to look forward to and live and in person when you're looking at the book. That, okay, that, uh, that makes sense. Oh, Vicky, I want to thank you. Oh, what? I just said what story time.
time with you. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love stories. Oh, me too. Maybe you can come by again sometime and visit and, and we can watch stories together. Hot dog. That sounds like a great plan. Well, kid, I gotta run. I gotta go check up on my castle. Oh, oh, did you see that? A very first live celebrity encounter for me. Yes, I saw that. And I hope you liked the book too. Oh, yes. It was very, uh, what was the word you used? Uh, it was poetic. Yes, yes, I agree. It was very poetic. But the wind had the music and the little music guy, like a little fairy everywhere. And, and how Miguel was able to follow his soul and stop being blue. Exactly. Exactly. Well, kid, I hope that you always listen to the music in your heart as well. Oh, yeah. That's such a nice thing to say, storyteller. Thanks. I believe in that because I, as you know, have music in my heart. <laughs> I know. I know. I love all you sing to me. All right, kid. Well, uh, do that. Do that. Listen to the music in your heart. See you next time. See you next time, kid. On. You want to take it, Doug? Okay. Kid time. Story time. <laughs>